Hello everybody, this is Xenocat8235431, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Uh, we're here with Theodore Hooded Man, who I have my suspicions about who he is, but he's just Hooded Man for now. White Mage and Black Mage, I'm sure that White Mage and Black Mage will be sticking around. And we're making our way through the Devil's Road. Uh, oh no, oh no. Oh goodness, um... Can't go that way. What's this? Okay, that puts us out there. That puts me out there. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. If, like, if there's no treasure... I just want to make sure there's no treasures in this area. But if there's no treasures here, I'm not as concerned about finding my way around. I haven't seen anything yet, although I want to explore a bit more of that lower area. Just trying to make sure that I don't... I mean, it seems like these aren't teleporters, which is good. Because if these were teleporters, I'd feel really confused. Uh, I don't really want to step on this one. I don't trust that one. I'm pretty sure there's no treasures down there. Nope, that's not what I want. I want a way forward. Uh, down. Do I stick all the way to the left? Yes. That, that's that room. And we have made it, it looks like. To Baron. We should close the door, but we're not gonna bother. Hey! Yeah, everyone's like, we miss Kane. We can't go into the Baron waterway, which is fine. Sid's son-in-law. Oh, Sid's daughter got married. Nice. Hi, Mid. Uh, I have not seen your granddad. No, that was the other uh, party. What did you say? Yeah. They're all happy. Well, I could buy you an iron sword. This is tempting. I think I will. Yeah, that's a 30 attack power sword, so that's good for you. The secret. Reads authorized personnel only, but I can. <laughs> oh, I love that! Oh, that's so funny. Uh, I do want iron stuff, probably. Uh, Wizard's hat is good. I might get what just one. We have the sage of surplus. I'm not going to worry about any extras. Uh, yeah, let's just get a wizard hat. And maybe an iron shield. That's all I'm gonna go. I'm only gonna focus on upgrading Theodore. And I know the wizard's hat's just more magic defense for him, but I want more magic defense. I don't know. It's an upgrade. We're gonna go with it. Oh, hey, it's my grandma. Or it's Theodore's grandma. Everyone's like, what's going on? We don't know. I think that was a potion.
I don't really need anything right now. You spell you sell spider silk. Well, that's interesting, and it's only a hundred gold. That's really cheap. It's like. Also, these things are interesting that you sell that. I'm gonna buy a couple of those, because spider silk is good. Okay, I'm moving. Explore the waterway. Arctic wind and spider silk in the waterway. I guess I'm not, although I would think Seador would be from around here. Oh. The treasures are different. Okay. Like, they put the treasures in the grass in a different place, and I don't like that. A new ship connection to Kaipo? Nice. Although, Kaipo's in the middle of the desert. How are you getting boats there? I guess there's a port or something on, the co on like, the west coast there? I don't know. It's confusing. I'll take the dry ether, the white fang, and the unicorn horn. <laughs> when regular people can go to the moon. Sure, I mean, I guess, I hope for that too. Oh yeah. I got to know who Cecil's like parents were. Oh yeah. Mist cave during a full moon is Spooky. So yeah, that's the introduction of like, hey, some enemies only spawn during the full moon. Which is, a, you know, a thing. Uh, we're gonna not maybe go into Baron Castle right now. But, uh, are there any new things in the Baron Overworld? Nah. Okay, then we might do it. Because, yeah, Baron Overworld's mostly the same as uh, Mysidia Overworld. It's Goblin 1, Goblins, sword rats, dumbavoys, gatling hogs, cockatrices, gargoyles, zoos, bombs, and gray bombs. Nothing exciting. I mean, I guess we can save. And let's head into Baron Castle, I suppose. We're not allowed to pass. Apparently. Good. Um. This is not right. Yeah, those guards are being weird. Okay. Footed man is going to tell us about the waterway. Someone has to have the key. Yeah. Someone has to have the key. That threw off my theory a bit, but it's fine. Well, I guess... Hmm. I don't know. We'll see about Hooded Man. We have to ask around town. It's probably... Yeah, Mist is closed off apparently. We might go visit Mist. 
Yeah, I kind of guessed that you would have it. It's Sid's daughter. Thanks for that. Uh, we're not going to head into the Barren Waterway quite yet, though. We're going to go walk to Mist Cave to see for ourselves that it's locked, because I don't trust the game telling me it's locked. Oh, we should also try to visit the Barren Chocobo Forest at some point. I didn't... I, I mashed too fast. No one may pass. Wonderful. Thank you, game, for locking parts of the game from me. I mean, that makes sense. You want to make a linear progression kind of thing. We're not going that way. Uh, nope. All these enemies are things we have seen before. So I am not really worried about it. Although we might actually want to take some of these fights just for money. This is a lot of enemies, but I think we can do it. They're easy enemies. Uh, black magic's down, white magic is up right now. I'm not seeing a, seeing a difference in like the healing staff, so... No. Uh, white mage and black mage do not have bands. I went and did some research on the bands in the game. White mage and black mage do not band. I'm assuming there's, again, nothing here other than chocobos. Which kind of makes sense if you think about it. I don't think there's... I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, sword rats and gatling hogs. Not really interested in that. I guess there's new formations. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of time. Let's save out here and... Get ready to dive into Barren Waterway, where there are going to be some new enemies, I believe. There should be a chest over here. Yes, 2,000 gold. Gil, I will gladly take that. I was starting to run low. I mean, I don't need it to stock up for this thing, but... For this trip into the waterway, but it's nice to have. Unicorn horn. More money. Phoenix down. Always nice. Unicorn horns are quite good. They're a nice debuff cure on everyone. I'd like to not get back attacked by this. Ow! Ow! You're gonna kill my black mage! Let's get the room swapped! Oh my goodness, they're hurting me. Get him up. You please heal everyone. You're my white mage. Heal people. That's your job. Oh my goodness, Theodore's almost down. Hooded Man is fine, but everyone else is struggling. We need to get rid of some of these things. That's a lot of health. Can you not focus white mage? Like, I need you on white magic duty. Let me swap you to the ice rod and have you, uh, use that on one of the gators. We need more Kira. Like, jeez, the encounters took a sharp difficulty spike right here. I mean, the back attack did not help, but... I mean, I think we've got this sort of under control now to the point where, uh, Theodore can start attacking. You keep using the ice rod on things to do bits of damage. Hey, nice! You took out the regular alligator. And keep Kira. Going with Kira. Please make sure no one dies. I would want not like anyone in this party to die. Goodbye, Devil's Cast. Last Devil's Cast net. Start hitting the Gigas Gator. Okay. We're through! That's a lot of experience, actually. 
We did get some new enemies there. Alligator is first up. Weak to ice, which is why I used that. Giga Skater, also weak to ice. Ice Rod, very nice. And Devil's Cast Nets, I believe, weak to Thunder. Or, yeah, weak to Lightning, so... Why I wasn't using Ice Rod on them. Yeah, let's just top everyone off quickly. I'm assuming the water still doesn't have anything. Floodworms and... A Floodworm and some Splashers is not ideal, but we can get through this. Right now, black magic is down, which is a little fine. Which is probably fine, honestly. That's probably the best thing to be low. Because I'm not using a lot of black magic, and they're going to be using a lot of black magic. You do that. Just save your, save your MP for later. We don't need the big heals. We can get by with little heals. Tsunami, I'm assuming, is based on some sort of magic stat. So, I'm pretty sure these Tsunamis are kind of being kind of nice to me. Although, actually, I think that's based on the HP in the original. It's still not too bad. I don't know. More ice. Okay, ice rod, not good. Probably Fly Rod is also not good, but it's fine. Pretty sure, yeah, two rounds of attacks will take it out. I'll take the potion, because why not? We got more enemies for our bestiary. We're up to 10%. Splashers here. And Floodworms. Yeah, they got a bit of HP. All weak to lightning, which we don't really have a thunder rod, so I can't take advantage of that, which is a little bit annoying. There's lots of new enemies here. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, we've seen all but one of them, though, I think. No, we've... No, there's two we haven't seen. Yeah, there's two enemies we haven't seen here. We might farm a couple encounters right here. Just to make sure we see them. Uh, Liliths are not what I'm looking for. We have seen Liliths before. I don't need to see more Liliths. Liliths are not what I'm trying to find here. And the, and the enemies we're looking for are easier enemies than some of the other ones we've seen. Uh, Electrofish is new. So we'll take this. And then there's just one enemy we're looking for, which is a relatively easy enemy. So hopefully we can actually, like, not have a bad time with it. Gosh, you're punchy. Electrofish, please go away. I'm gonna actually cast Thunder here. Let's use Black Mage's MP. I'm gonna need a Cura. I've taken enough damage. We need a Kira. A Kira all. Right, what am I doing? You absorb thunder. I don't know why I cast thunder on the Electrofish, thinking that it would work. We don't want thunder on the Electrofish. Thunder on the Electrofish is bad. When have you actually hit that thing a bit? Because we weakening the Floodworm weakens the Tsunami, I believe. Yeah, it did weaken the Tsunami. Freeze the Electrofish. I would have been amazed if that had actually finished it off. Start getting healing going. Because some people are fine. Theodore's not so fine, but... Get rid of the Electrofish. Ow, Floodworm. That's rude. I know it's useless, but... <laughs> I'm gonna need to cure... Uh, yeah. You cure yourself a couple times. And cure Black Mage up a bit. So that's one of the enemies. For this level. 
I'm doing them here because, you know, I'll be able to tear through the rest of this dungeon pretty quickly. They absorb lightning. Yeah, Electrofish absorb lightning. We have one last enemy. No. Bad. Uh, looks like they can spawn on later floors. We might just move on, like, the next floor. I think I'm just going to move on to the next floor, because they can... The other enemy I'm looking for can spawn there. Get me out of that fight. Oh my goodness. Let's grab some potions and stuff. Uh, Devil's... I don't want this fight. No, we've seen this enemy, these enemies before. They are very obnoxious. Devil's casting nets are spooky. As well, same with Giga Skaters. Giga Skaters are spooky too. I don't care that I'm losing my money. Oh good, monster in a box. It's a black lizard. Ow. You're gonna do that, right? Thank you for missing him, Bunch. You're weak to ice, I know, so that'll not do any damage. That's fine. Heal everyone, please, because everyone needs a little bit. Go... Hooded Man. That's actually going to land, which is a little annoying. Yeah, use Wazara. Or be dead! We need... We need Black Mage! Oh my goodness, this Black Lizard has upgraded health. I swear. Like, I'm pretty sure this is upgraded health. I need Blizzara. You need Kira. Let's get a Kira all going. Make sure everyone is patched up. Yeah, you can't hit my mages, which is good with that. So I'm just gonna hope that not too many hit my fighters. Take your Blizzara. Go away. Go away, Black Lizard. Okay. I will take the Coral Sword. Uh, I have no idea what this does, but I'm gonna be into you. Yeah, that's good. That is gonna be very good for this area. Uh, lightning elemental attack? Yes, please. Oh, we want to go... through here. I don't want to fight this. Nope. Oh my goodness, let me out. Can I not run from this? Oh my gosh. Just let me run away from things. Okay, we do need to get the encounter here. There it is, it's a fang shell. This is all I was looking for. Nice, you can actually do damage now. You tried your best. I mean, not really, but you tried. I should be using more black magic. I like that, you know, now Theodore can do real damage, as opposed to Hooded Man just doing everything. But that is the enemy we were looking for. Fang Shell down here. It's not a very tough enemy, but it's an enemy. Where is Black Lizard 2? Here is Black Lizard 2. It's a demon? Wow. Didn't expect that. 2400 HP, that explains some things. That definitely explains some things. Uh, yeah, that's everything for this area. We have some more things showing up in later floors here, of course, but... Yeah, that is everything. For this floor. 
Let's not fight you. There are some new enemies here, but not these ones. Soma drop? Cool. Maybe I'll think about using that. Uh, we are going to go back here first. Grab that silver hourglass, and then we'll save. Well, tent and save. I'm tired of having black magic be weak. Full moon. Physical attacks are weak now, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, so these two floors have the same encounters. We do need to get two enemies here, real quick. I'm gonna take care of the Baron encounters, like the rest of the encounters in this waterway, before we sign off for this part, before we end this part off, because... Yeah, hi Baron Guardsman. Um, attack being low is actually a little awkward here. Channel will stop. Because these guys have counters, and I don't want to deal with their counters. Although it looks like uh, you can still one-shot Hooded Man, because Hooded Man is powerful, and they're not weak to lightning, so, you know, uh, Theodore's not that great for them. But yeah, that is Baron Guardsman. They are mages with 280 hit points. So, yeah, with the attack down, Hooded Man was barely one-shotting them. That's one of the enemies. There is another enemy we would like to find here before we move on. Or, before I end this part off. Well, it's not Lilith's. It is not Lilith's. I might just attack you. Oh, right. You slap people. That's okay, because I can get around that mute with the flame rod. And the healing staff. I can still do those things. I'm gonna keep hitting you. Goodbye, you. I need to get in the front row. Don't hold him. Or don't hold white mage. That's a little rude. Have burning. Get burned. There you go. Uh, black maid being muted is not the end of the world. Here's the enemies. Hydras. They need to get defeated. Yeah, you're not vulnerable to fire. I think they're vulnerable to wood as well, but black mage can't really do anything about that at the moment. Hydras aren't very scary. Yep. They are demons weak to lightning. Lots of demons. I'm gonna go back and maybe use another tent just to not have this attack down. Which is kind of rude. I like having physical attacks. That's where most of my damage comes from, so we're gonna use another tent. Also to get rid of that silence. And yeah, let's get rid of that. Move over to waning. And next time we will head into Baron Castle proper. I'll see you then.